hello guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the source tree this software is basically used for managing your project when you are working in a team you want that multiple you want that your team members can work like uh, remotely and uh, your project can be managed like from any dif from a different location so for that particular purpose source tree is used like uh, so this is the software here you can see that the source tree the version is 2.7.6 from here you can like uh, first of all let me show you something uh, this is the website for downloading the source tree software you can download it you can download your source tree software for make os as well as for the windows operating system and uh, this source tree and the github this uh, the the thing that uh, where we store our project where we manage our project uh, on on github so source tree and github are work uh, both in sync so first of all i will show you how to create a new project on the github and how to connect that particular project with your source tree software so later on you can later on when you are updating any of your code when you are including any new code you can upload that particular code on the github using source tree so let's get started this is the dashboard for the source tree for the github basically so from here like you can click on start new project and start the project is having the different information that you have to ins that you have to fill in in order to create a new repository repository is associated with a project so here you have to give the repository name after that you have to describe whatever the repository is all about after that this two option is uh, defining the visibility of your repository to the public like if you keep your repository public then anyone uh, all around the world can see your repository can get a clone of that repository and start working on it if you keep it private then it it keeps your repository private you it won't be shared by anyone else other than the team members that are associated with you so in this thing you can give either public or private and after you have to click over here it initialize this repository with the readme readme is basically a file where which defines the list of information or you can define the list of information related to the repository so when you click on it it will create a new repository with a readme file already exist in your repository so after giving all this information when you click on create repository it will create a new repository on the github so after that you can see the uh, repository link over here like what we have right now so let's let me go through this repository so this repository is already created this is uh, the repository for my iQuiz application from here when you click on the clone or download button you can see this uh, pop-up and from this pop-up you can you can copy paste this thing on your source tree over here when you click on new clone from the url it will open up this thing you can copy paste your repository url and after that you have to define the destination like the des destination is the i quiz and the name of your repository the local name of the repository you can give it over here after that you have to define like from which branch okay so this term the branch is basically nothing but a separation of the module or the separation of the thing that you can uh, that your that you want your team members to be working on like if uh, for your project is having the different modules like the login module sign up module or uh, dashboard or settings or something like that so you can create different branch of that particular modules and let your team members works on that simultaneously like uh, more than one 
uh, team members can work on the same modules at the same time so you can create branch for that you can assign the, those branch to the team members and team members can start work on it so here we are we are like fetching the master branch so it will it will uh, fetch whole project into your local system after that when you clone this it will create it will give you this thing so from here you can double click on that particular thing you can get okay so now this wizard is very useful here you can see uh, who has committed the latest code and who is working on the uh, project like on which module uh, the team member is working on right now so you can see over here list of updates for that particular project and here from branches you can create a new branch like uh, what I told you earlier that if you want a new branch for the login then you can create new branch from here like a login branch you can create a branch it will create a new branch over here and from now onwards when you make any changes in the files in the, inside that particular repository you can it you can see that changes over here like you can see the files file names like in which file you have make any changes and you want to upload those changes to the login branch you can give over here you can save it so uh, there is a process for saving uh, the information or the code on the github the first of all you have to like you have to select those things you have to push on you have to click commit it will sh it will show you not right now i don't have any uh, changes in the files so it is not showing me anything but once you make any changes in the files you once you add new files once you update a file it will sh it will show it over here after that you have to give the information like the initial commit commit my code related to this functionality and you, you can list it out the functionality name like the login settings logout something like that you can click on the push changes immediately to the login branch it will push all the changes to the login branch when you click on this commit button over here it will commit those changes and after that you have to click on push after clicking on push you can see the different branches so now the changes you have made on the local system is with the source tree right now and the source tree is now uh, communicate with the github and upload those changes on the github using this wizard so over here you can you can define like on which branch do you want to upload your code if you click on login branch it will upload the code on the login branch if you click master branch it will upload code on the master branch once you click particular branch and click on ok it will like uploading your changes on the particular branch And from here onwards like you can you can see those changes over here like if when you refresh thing uh, when you are currently logging in and if you refresh the uh, page you can see those changes over here so this is all about the uh, introduction of source tree how you can like create a new project on the github how you can connect your project with the source tree how you upload the information on the source tree and let them that it connected with the github and communicate with the github and upload those changes on the github so that's it it's all about this uh, source tree i will come up with new videos regarding some another information or some another topic till then if you like this video keep like share and subscribe